Good day. You should have this booklet in your package, Working the Chemistry Laboratory, as we get used to using the equipment in the lab, but we're also going to carry out experiment as we go along. There are quite a few parts to it, five parts to be precise, and we will chug away through these in a matter of course. There is a worksheet or lab report that's going to go with this booklet, and we'll fill it in day by day as we go through and cover the different sections. You can see a lot of different materials you'll be using. In the last two parts, we'll use more of these chemicals. So for the first part, we're going to be using a lab burner. And one of the things you're going to have to do is sketch it. Although we have both types of lab burners, B is the one you're going to want to sketch because that's the one we use in the classroom. So we have to get to know how to use a lab burner and also different parts of it. At the bottom, you have a base. There's a screw here, and if we unscrew it, that lets more gas in from the gas inlet. So if we want to make a bigger flame, we unscrew that. If we want to make it smaller, we screw it back in. On top is something called a burner tube, and the burner tube controls the amount of air getting in, which means it controls the amount of oxygen getting into our flame. So when we light it, we want this at the bottom open about five full turns, and we want the burner tube closed. When it lights up, it should light up orange, and then we want to get a hotter blue flame that will have an inner cone, and we do that by opening up the burner tube. Now, if you open it too far, the flame will likely go out, in which case you have to turn the gas off at the tap, get everything set up again to where you started, and reignite it. Here's a picture of the flame, and it's got an inner cone and outer cone. Often the inner cone will look like a little triangle here, and right above the inner cone is the hottest part. And that's important to know for a number of things we're going to do in the lab, including bending glass tubing. That will come up later. Now, before we light a burner, of course, we want to make sure our hair is tied back if it's long. And we will make sure all flammables are safely away. On one side of the room, we have to be careful not to put our burner under the cabinet so we can light up the cabinets. So make sure your surroundings are safe. Make sure you're wearing safety goggles and your clothes and things are appropriate. If anything goes wrong, once you light a burner, you turn it off at the tap. So that's our first part that we're looking at and we'll be carrying out in the classroom.